Right, so this is uh, next cool feature of the GVO hosting account called GVO Conference, which basically allows you to connect with other people through videos, or show them your videos, or um, show them on their screen the web pages you're visiting, or uh, chat with them, or also show them PowerPoint presentations. So it's uh, a great way to do webinars some Q&A sessions and uh, just use it for uh, for your business basically so instead of me showing you what it can do let me play you some of the help videos that will give you roughly an idea of what this powerful software is able to do series of videos we're going to show you how to use your GVO conference myself and my business partner Mr. Ken Hammond on behalf of GVO want to welcome you to this series of videos GVO conference is a very powerful online meeting tool where you can do many things like share video share audio do text chatting show PowerPoint presentations put on a show it's like having your own television station 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and one of the most powerful tools in today's society and in the future for prospecting and business use. So you can see we're logged into the back office of GVO, and how you get to GVO Conference is simply scroll down and click on the link right here, GVO Conference. And when we click on that, it's going to come up to the same window we were just on. You'll see there's four tabs. There's the overview, the room settings, the band list, and the room moderators. One of the first things you want to do is click on the room settings and name your room. We're going to call this test room. And these settings in the orientation will remain the same for your room all the time. You don't need to change them after you set these settings once inside of the room settings. If you want a password, protect your room, you can do that here by adding your password. We're not going to. You can also add a description right here. And I'm just going to copy and paste and put the description in right there. Now here's some features that you can have automatically set to your room. And we're going to show you how you can change those features within your GVO conference on the fly. But you can disable audio, video, text chatting, um, internet browsing, private messaging, and private messaging at all times. And you can also have a home page URL. But that's how you set up the basics of your room. And now you're all set inside of GVO to go and set up your moderator. You first need to set up a moderator before you do anything, which is the video right after this one. Now one thing I wanna let you know, this is always your room location. If you click on that link, you can always access your room. Now you can do little tricks which we'll show you down the road in the tips and tricks section like URL redirecting to your room at all times. But to get to your room all you need to do is log into GVO, click on GVO conference and then click right here on your room and you will see it will open right up for you in a new window where you can log in and start doing presentations. So move on to the next video where we're going to show you how to set up a room moderator and you can set up multiple room moderators to start using a GVO conference room. All right guys, Ken here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the very valuable tool, the browser mode in your webcast. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and get into the webcast and you could obviously you want to make sure you're the moderator of course, always make sure you are and you're going to click on the browser tab. And what that's gonna do is allow you to type in any website name out there. So any website you type in, your viewers are going to see. And it's really cool because it brings it up just as they're watching you as well. So obviously we have GVO here, or say you have a you know any other type of business, a travel business, a nutritional business, you can type in your website there and basically show them what the sites looks like live in their browser, which is a very cool feature to use. And of course, when you're done, you can always bring it back to chat, but that's how easy it is, guys. So go in your browser during the live webcast, type in the name of the website you want your viewers to see, 
and it's just as easy as that. And they'll go ahead and see the exact website that's pulled up on your webcast as well. So hope that helps, and we'll see you on the next video. Did a great job showing you how to use the browser function of GVO Conference. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the presentation feature, and that is with a PowerPoint slide show. So the first thing you want to do is log into your GVO Conference room, and you can see we are logged in here as a presenter. You need to be a presenter to do a presentation. If you come up to here, right here, and click on this presentation tab, and then click on the upload or start presentation. Now we have no presentations loaded into our GVO conference. If we upload it once, the presentation will stay in there until we choose to delete it. So we're going to click on browse, and we're going to navigate on our computer to where <coughs> our PowerPoint presentation is, double click on it, and then click on upload. So we went to the presentation tab, we dropped this window down, we clicked on upload, or we clicked on browse, we found the location of the PowerPoint that we're uploading, and then we clicked on the upload button. So we'll let this upload and then show you what to do from here. So stand by. So you can see our presentation has uploaded. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to act like we just logged in. We just uploaded our presentation and generally it's set onto the chat. So you've uploaded your presentation and while you're live, you can see we are logged in as a presenter. While you're live, you click on presentation, drop this window down. We uploaded this presentation and to load it into your window for your viewers to see, all you need to do is double click and you will see the presentation has loaded. Now the next thing is you're going to want to go and go through your slides. So to go through your slides you'll see, and let me draw this out for you too, right down here are the controls for your slides. So to go to the next slide you would hit this button here, the double arrow button. The next slide is the double arrow button. If you needed to go back you would hit the double arrow button back. If you want to go all the way to the beginning, it's the single arrow with the line, and that'll bring us right back to the beginning, or you can go all the way to the end with the single arrow with the single arrow on the line. So we'll go back to the beginning, and then we can click the double arrow to go to the next one. Now you can set the slides to automatically go by themselves if you wish. During a live presentation, sometimes that's difficult to go do because of the timing. But all you need to do is click, click the play button and you can change the speed setting right here. And you'll see as I do that it changes it from 10 seconds to 11, 12, all the way up to 20 seconds. So the slides would automatically go every 20 seconds. To turn that off you just click here. Now to end the presentation all you need to do is go to another browser window or another tab in your window up here. So that's all there is to it for doing a presentation mode with GVO Conference. It's just as easy as that and uh, if you want to pay attention, Ken will be doing the next video on using show mode. So we'll see you in the next video. Welcome back folks, you did it. You made it through all of the GBO Conference basic training videos. We recommend that you go through these videos more than once. GBO Conference is extremely easy to use. We've shown you how to do it. We recommend that you get into your GBO Conference. Don't forget when you log in your back office, just scroll down, click on GBO Conference, create your room moderator yourself, and get into that room and start becoming a presenter. It's extremely easy to use, like we said. We want to thank you for watching this video series, and we hope it helped. We'll see you on future videos. I want to thank Mr. Ken Hammond, the Marketing Maverick, one of my great friends and business partners. What an awesome job he did in these videos. I'm Mark Call. We will see you in future videos soon.